I'm Daniel Babcock. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biological Sciences. So my laboratory, uh, we're interested in investigating neurodegenerative diseases. And so to do that, we're actually using the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster to try and attempt to model these neurodegenerative diseases to figure out the underlying cellular and molecular mechanisms that are responsible for what's causing these diseases in humans. Their cells work the same way that ours do. They're just easier to manipulate. They live a very short time, so a typical fly can live for a few months. Flies are getting pretty old by the time they're a month old. So a lot of these diseases where in humans, you have to wait 60, 70 years old before you know the symptoms of Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease really, really start to take hold. In fruit flies, you can actually look at that at a much more compressed time scale. So within 30 days of age, you know, you can see these problems in flies that would, you know, in a human brain would take much, much longer to do. It's been a dream. Um, the, the, the lab that I last came in um, had been around since the mid-1970s, so a lot of the equipment was older than I was working here, and, and I would always tell people, as soon as I get my lab, I'm getting everything nice and brand shiny and new. And it is, it's miraculous. So, you know, all, all, the, all the equipment is top of the line. Everything's brand new, everything's clean. So we're doing our best to, to make it dirty by doing a lot of the research in there. But um, it's fantastic having that space completely designed the way that we want it for workflow.